to that music all day. Often have done. And Lisa Stansfield, the singer-songwriter, is with us now. Um, Hello. Where were you when you heard? Um, I was... I, I actually was, was with friends in the local pub and, um... It, I just burst into tears. It was awful. I mean, I can't... I, it was sort of about after lunchtime that, that I heard about it. Um, and it's weird, but sort of if you've met someone a few times, it hits you sort of harder, but he was always a massive influence. I mean, was, people cannot underestimate just how much he influenced so many genres of music. Favourite Prince song? Um, I can't... It's hard, isn't it? I can't. There's too many. I can't think at all. But the first one that comes into my head is when doves cry. But there is so many others. There's so many others. A lot of people. We, we showed some live scenes uh, earlier on from his hometown, which he went back to. Oh, you know, effectively, right. he never left. And a lot of people making the point this morning that he, he was. He didn't sort of sell out. He didn't no. go to. He didn't go to Hollywood. He, I mean, I know he made films, but mm. you know, he didn't move there physically. And he had a sense of place, in a way. Because was his, stu his studio was in his home. That's yeah, right. Paisley Park, it? yeah. 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 It's a bit like me, then. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and also, I think people talk about how you saw him and you did, you did think, is, is he a, you know, he's a prodigy, he was described as a prodigy mm. as such, and perhaps you didn't want to approach him. But um, your mum approached him, didn't oh, she? Oh, yes, she really did. <laughs> what oh, did she so do? Funny. Was when this an we... embarrassing mum story? A very embarrassing <laughs> mum story, um, because I'd met him the, the, the evening before. It was in Rio, and um, but everyone went to the same nightclub. It probably was like the the nicest nightclub in Rio, so everybody just went there. And um, and so he'd met me the night before, and um, and then he had like all these bodyguards around him, but he's so little. And they're like seven foot tall, and they're all like in a circle around him. And my mum comes in, she's like five foot tall, and she just went straight underneath the, their arms because they didn't even see her coming. And she went up to Prince and she went, Oh, hello, Prince. I'm Lisa's mum. Oh, haven't you got little hands like a boy? <laughs> <laughs> What did he do? Well, oh, I think he cracking. never wanted to meet another Stansfield ever again. <laughs> well, we did meet again, and it, it was really nice, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's lovely. I have to say, now, you need to share, because I know that you met him. Ah, and will yes, you share? Come on, to tell us the story. Him. I met Prince on my 21st birthday. Oh. I was in a nightclub out with friends, and um, he did always have really big bodyguards. And yeah. they approached me and said, our boss would like to talk to you. And I thought... Who, I said, Who, oh. who's your boss? And he went, he's over there, and he wanted to have a dance with me. Um, so I danced for his latest single and um, met him and had a chat with him. On your 21st birthday? Oh, 21st. It was the talk of university when I went back. Great, amazing. I've been a massive and fan of my life. everyone say, did you or didn't you? That's where we stop the story. <laughs> uh, uh, but thank you for... How uh, very uh, dare you! Lisa, <laughs> 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 thank uh, you. Good to see you this morning, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's time to get the news, travel and weather while you are. We'll see you very shortly.